DevOps is still a relatively new area, and while it's kind, of, it's got a lot of attention. There is still a bit of misunderstanding. People are trying to figure out what it is, what it means for them. So this course is there to help them with that, to understand what DevOps is, what changes will be required in order to start using DevOps, how to go about it. We start with a bit of a background of DevOps. Where did it come from? Why has it come about? From there, we look at then at the core practices that we need, including the cultural aspects, but also some of the technical practices that we need in place to really make this work for us. From there, we then look at continuous delivery and DevOps itself, in particular, focusing on the pipeline which forms the foundation of DevOps. What is the pipeline and how do we use it? What does it do for us? As well as that, we then look at the result once we actually have something in production, that the story doesn't end there. We also need to start monitoring it because we can't improve it if we don't know how well it is working in the field. Pretty much anyone who needs to learn what DevOps is and what is involved in it. So that ranges from developers, testers, who are dealing with more technical sides, through to the BAs, project managers, management in general, who want to learn what is DevOps, why should we be looking at it, what value can we get from it, and what is going to be involved when we start down this journey. Well, they first of all should gain an understanding of what DevOps is and why it is worth going down this path. They should understand the relevance to them in their job, what it means for them and what changes will potentially be on the horizon. And then finally, they should have the ability to start looking at the culture of their organisation and figure out what changes they might want to make there and how they might go about making those changes. If we're really serious about delivering quality systems to our users and stakeholders, then DevOps is trying to achieve exactly that. Working towards the higher quality, it also with the monitoring that is an important part of DevOps, that gives us the ability to make better decisions in the future, as well as give us a better understanding of if these systems are actually delivering the value that, they are that was intended, and are we getting the return on the investment?